This is Alan with Alan's Firearms and Guns Plus More. And today we have the pig. <laughs> the pig. The Sig P. The Sig P. 232. As you can see, it's very reminiscent of a Walther PPK. Um, it has a really nice feel to it. It's a little lighter than the Walther, which is nice because the Walther is a very heavy firearm. It shoots th uh, 38. Uh, it shoots 380 or 9 millimeter short. Nine it locks open on the last round. It does not have a slide release, so you would have to either pull out the magazine to release the slide, or you'd have to have a loaded magazine in there to release the slide by pulling it back. It does have a decocker on it, which is really nice. So you, your first shot would be double action, and after that it would be single action. It has white three-dot sights, and it, it, it's a very nice, comfortable little firearm. So without any further ado, let's get to the workbench, field strip it, clean it, lube it, and put it back together again. Well, here we are at the workbench with the SIG. This is the model P3232. Uh, and it very much looks like a Walther PPK, doesn't it? But it, it doesn't operate uh, the same. At least the takedown is different. The uh, Walther, as you pull the trigger guard down to disassemble it, this one actually has a disassembly switch on it. It has, it looks like night sights. There's your sight picture. Okay. This is, <clears throat> um, has a decocker on it, so this, the hammer is back on here already, so if I pull that, it decocks it. You pull it down, it releases it, you, uh, it, it engages, you release it, and it lets the, the hammer up. So down, and it engages, release it, and the hammer comes up. And it doesn't go all the way. It stops. That's its safety. Then your first shot would be double action. And after that, it would be single action, because this is going to come back and, and uh, cock and reload your firearm. It has a European mag release, which means it's the button back here. It does not have a, a safety on the magazine, so it will fire with, with the magazine out. Okay. It's a sweet little gun. It's lighter than the PPK. It's a 9mm Kurtz. 9mm Kurtz is a 380. We're the only country that calls it a 380. Everybody else calls it a 9mm short, a 9mm Kurtz, or a 9mm Browning, which is a 9 by 17. This particular gun is made in Germany, and Kurtz is either Belgium or German for short. Okay? And, yeah, this has night sights on it. Okay, so, to take this apart... You're going to take this little switch and move it to the down position. To the down position. Then you pull the slide back, lift it up, and move it forward to release. I'm going to take out the magazine <laughs> to release the slide off of the top. And then we have this spring, which you have to turn counterclockwise to release it. It is not omnidirectional. And this gun does definitely need a cleaning. To clean it, I use Strikehold. And I use it. When you use this, you use it to clean it, but when you're done cleaning it, you don't have to oil it. This is a dry lube. After it dries, it lubricates your firearm, just like Teflon. I will show you how to use oil to lubricate the firearm at the end of this video, just in case you're not using an all-in-one. Load one up with some strike hold, and we're going to clean this barrel off. So, I like SIG, they make a nice handgun. Now, be careful of this piece because this piece can come out. You don't want to lose this piece. <laughs> And that's on a little spring, so we don't want to play with that. 
The Germans like to make this stuff complicated. I'm getting the rails where this goes. I'm going to get underneath this piece, press it down, and get the dirt out from underneath it. Yeah, there's a lot of dirt in here. So I'm going to come on this side. Now, one of the places you have to make sure you clean really well are the slots that the slide rails run through. So I use a stick to get in there and make sure I get it all. Get the hammer. And what's really important, look, look, look how dirty this rag is. I want to make sure I get the ramp. Now one of the things that makes the Walther PPK and variants like it so accurate is that the barrel is set. It doesn't move. It doesn't move. It's a set barrel. So we're going to make sure we get that ramp clean. Here we go. We're moving that, that piece over here again. I don't want to move that out of the way. Get the front the top of the chamber. Okay, now I'm going to get inside the barrel and inside the chamber, nice and clean. How much dirt came out of there? Make sure I get the chamber. Make sure I get the chamber clean in here. So look at that. Go down into the magazine well. That's pretty dirty, and I'm going to wipe it all down. Just remove the excess. You don't need much dry cold for the lubricant. Now, the slide. The first thing we want to do is this only has some short rails on it, but we want to get them clean. So we get into those rails and we get them clean. And just the whole inside of the firearm, you wipe it down, use your stick to get into the slots that you can't get with your fingers. We want to make sure we get inside here the battery, that's where the back of the round hits, and get underneath the extractor, you want to clean the extractor off. By the way, this has a loaded chamber indicator, which is a red dot, which is right there. Can you see that? Can you see that? When the round is in here, that red dot sticks out. Okay. And then we're going to wipe down the outside of the firearm. Because you can use the this to protect it. And there's some sort of dirt mark on here. It looks like a sticker was on there. And this strike hold is removing it very nicely. Okay. Let us get the spring. And we'll wipe down the magazine. We're done with uh, cleaning and oiling this firearm very quick. It's going to be a nice short video. We take the spring. Now, the spring can go on. It goes on in one direction. See that? that that's real. It goes on real easy. That's wrong. It should stop 
about a, an eighth of an inch short of the back of the barrel, and then you have to twist it a little bit and let it pop on so it won't slide off by itself. Hold the slide in your hand, put the spring inside the slide, push the barrel forward, that little piece, make sure it's flat against there, it'll come back, there it goes. Forward and then it goes right on and slides forward. Then you can put your magazine in. Check your safety, it works. Check your double action. Check your single action. And there we have it. The SIG P232. Um, made in Germany by SIG. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoy this uh, video on the Walther. Hope you enjoyed this video on the SIG P232, and please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.